what up i'm back with another video today i'm just gonna do something super simple and natural this is like my go-to uh you could call it everyday makeup i guess which i don't wear makeup every day but if i did this is probably what i would do okay and yes i just applied a self tanner so my hands are gonna be orange i don't care you shouldn't either i'm gonna start with foundation so i'm just gonna put on my little brush i'm gonna use a molly foundation brush I'm just pressing that into my skin. Crap, I meant to do my eyebrows. Oh well, we'll just fill them in with a pencil like this, I guess. So I'm gonna avoid my eyelid area. I like the way my eyelids look. I love the color of them. So I'm not gonna put any foundation on my eyelids or concealer. And I'm going for full coverage, so I'm just pressing it into the skin. And I'm also adding like two layers, I guess you would call it. I'm going to press it into my hairline and my ear. This color matches my self-tan very well. I'm using the shade 250C. And the self-tanner I used is the Love and Tan Purist. So it's like um, organic or more natural. Doesn't have the harmful ingredients. So like I said, skipping my eyelid area. See, I love that. It just looks so good. Honestly, look at that color match. And I really like that brush. I've never used them. I've had them for like a long time. So Molly Girl, you the bomb. So I'm going to use the Benefit Bright On Concealer before concealer. And while that just kind of sits there, I use this little contour brush and my Baby Up Bronze Bronzer. Going from the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth, kind of pushing in and pushing up at the same time. And I like to go onto that bone a little bit. And bring it kind of towards the outer corner of my eye. And then just blend it up, not down. So after I do my little contour, we're going to pat this in. And I like to take it right up to my lash line. And then right into that inner corner. The key to this look is going to be good skincare. So make sure you use an eye cream and moisturizer. Do my lips look bigger? I've been putting hyaluronic acid on them. Like three times a day honestly just for the past like two or three days but i feel like they look so big now i'm going to use my pro longwear concealer right on top of that Next, I'm gonna set that with my MAC Studio Fix Powder, just lightly. This is in the shade NC20. Givenchy Powder. This is in the shade Satin Blanc. I'm just gonna dip my little sponge in there and then dip into the cap, just to kind of get off any extra, but also to press it into the sponge. And then I'm just gonna press And then I'm going to press this in, but we're going to leave this area right here. 
This brush is kind of big for this, but it works. If you want to keep it more concentrated, use a smaller brush, but I'm just using a bigger brush. So I'm just going to blend this out now. Yeah, I'm just going to do my powder bronzer, which is Hoola. I'm just going to place that right where I did my cream bronzer. I am going to put some of this underneath my jawline. I like to go in a straight line right here, right in front of my eyebrow. Just get a little bit on this little sponge and just go right alongside of that. Kind of in like a little L shape. Very light hand. Hold your pencil way back here. You just want it to be natural but filled in. Just to add a little detail, I'm going to go in with the brow detailer. You can go ahead and set your eyebrows. Press this in. I'm just going to use a brush to kind of brush that away underneath my brow. I'm going to use the NYX, NYX, however you want to say it, Line Loud Lip Pencil in the shade No Equivalent. This is like a dupe for the one I usually use, which is a Headbang by Melt Cosmetics. Fenty Lemon Lava. So that's the finished look. I'm not doing any mascara on the bottom because I love how it looks uh, just with the concealer all the way up to my lash line. And do you see how good it looks just with a natural eyelid? I think that is like awesome. Try that out.